Hey guys! Hey, play! Hey guys, I'm Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel! There's a dog barking. Oh well. So today, we are working on my original character. He, I really like him. He's, my, he's one of my favorites. If He's one of them. He's not the favorite, but he's one of my favorites. Saiyan Elrin Quintet. And he is a fire mage, so he does fire magic and stuff. He also has other abilities, but he's a fire mage basically. And the story he is set in is in this like fantasy, like really fantasy world, high fantasy even actually. So he is part of the military, uh, the magical aspect at least. So what we're working on today is his uniform, his everyday work uniform, and yeah. So we are starting from the base. Actually, this is gonna be a two-part video since just working on the base alone without even the outfit already took me so long. This took me three streams to complete mainly because I wasn't happy with the anatomy or I kept changing things up on the body. And you'll see how many times I actually repeat or fix something. So this video is gonna be his base. Just the body, no clothes on it. And then the video after this, which I will upload directly after, is going to be his outfit itself. So you'll see all the layers that I usually use, or usually, like how many layers I usually put uh, on a character when I'm doing design or outfit commissions. Usually you only see just one layer, usually it's just the first layer. This time you will see all three layers, his uh, first set of clothing, and then the accessories, and then the cape, or hoodie or whatever so for some reason i really had a hard time working on the anatomy of this one i don't know if it's because i haven't really used my tablet in a long time before i did this drawing or if it's because i'm at that stage again where i could see all the faults in my current style and even though i see it i no matter what i do i couldn't solve it usually what happens right after this stage of my art process is that in the next month or two it will be like this I will see so many flaws I'll make so many mistakes and I know what they are but I couldn't fix them and then suddenly one day when I draw again it's gonna be like peachy and good again I, I would have managed to fix the mistake without even me consciously or really consciously trying to fix it and this has happened so many times before and usually the style that turns out after this little bump is better. So I hope that's how it is again this time. And I don't want to get worse. How could I get worse? Huh. As you can see here, the arch on the foot is too arched. My original concept is that I wanted him to be a bit tiptoed, like how girls' feet look like when they're wearing heels. Uh, and I had to adjust so many times. Jeez. Uh, the hashtag not spawn hashtag free life thing is just a little joke since if you're there during the stream you would know that I play music sometimes and for the past few streams I've been using Spotify to play my music except I have a free account and if you're familiar with Spotify and free accounts it will play ads so many ads so I had I just put it there just for fun to say that no I'm not sponsored by Spotify I just want modern music that's not my usual Japanese playlist. So fair warning, since we are somewhere near the middle of the video. I will warn you right now, and I will warn you again. This person's gonna be a nude. No genitals, since that's a bit hard to draw pants over. But he's basically a candle, but you will render his skin and all the little parts of his skin. Or as much as I could render. But yes, if you are in an environment where it's a bit awkward, that for people to see you watching somebody clothesless despite having no genitals on them. Maybe you could just watch this some other time? 
you can come back maybe. If you're comfortable with that, just go on ahead. But I have, if you want to watch still, I have the link at the end card and in the description, the second video that's a bit safer. He's a bit nude at the start, but he will eventually build his clothes up. So you can click that first and maybe come back. I'll just like link them both to each other. But yes, I will warn you again in a few minutes that especially when you get to the coloring, it's gonna get slightly sketchy. mistake in this part is that I did not define his wrist because too it, I don't know the hand looks weird I don't know I don't know why because I don't know how to fix it it's frustrating but I just wanted to get it done I just wanted to I just wanted to start coloring the skin Ugh. So this is the fixed layer that you just saw right now. Uh, the fixed layer is basically where I attempt to fix some areas without completely erasing all the lines. So I just erase the parts that I need to erase and then try to attach the new layer to the old layer and do my best, I guess. Okay, so this is the part. Nude body and skin rendering ahead. This would mean he's clothesless. we will be working on skin. If, we'll, if it will put you in an awkward position or if you're in a public area and it would be weird and you mind, uh, you can click away now or you can click on the link in the description where I did put the outfit part. Maybe come back to this later. But yes. Uh, I hope this this is slightly NSFW. There's nothing really sketchy to see, but you know. So we will be working on the skin, his eyes, his hair. Just the base. And then in the end card, I will link or whatever. I will have a little annotation there that you can click to get to the outfit drawing portion. So he's a bit fit. He's a dancer as well. He likes dancing. He's a bit sporty. He's not your typical weak body mage. He's not as strong as like say a swordsman or a lancer or an archer. But he is capable. Like melee won't kill him in three hits. Because he's a bit athletic. He likes dancing and stuff. So he has abs. He's the dancer body or what I tried to depict the dancer body. Right now we're just putting the first coat of shadows. First coat of paint for the shadows. But this isn't this really isn't isn't paint though. So it's the first coat of shadows and we will uh, deepen that later. So we're adding the highlights just so that I know which parts to deepen or not or how, how the values turn out. And it is something I endeavor to put or to include in my drawings now. It's highlights because they do so much for your drawing. At first I was one of those people where that was like, oh, I'm pretty sure if I keep on laying, layering shadows it'll be dark enough but adding highlights just do so much. So here, we're adding the darker shadows just to give places, some places more definition, like in between creases or um, 
at the toes area where it needs a bit of finishing in, in between certain things. It, like that. So we're working on his eyes. They are actually a cerulean color. That is an old drawing. And the hair, I actually did the hair, I guess, off camera sometime, and I just hid the layer. And then when I saw it, oh, oh, I already have it here. Might as well work on it. So his hair is blonde. It's a nice, uh, solid blonde. But it has these reddish, orangish highlights, or not really highlights, but it has this hue of orange. Just I really like how it turned out. It's so nice and fluffy and... This is actually my hairstyle right now, except my hair is black. <laughs> and I'm a girl, obviously, for my voice. But yes, it turned out so nice. It's so fluffy. I want to ruffle it and mess it up. It's so cute. I wish my hair was that nice and soft. So we are nearing the end of the video. So please, 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 please click on through to the second part. I hope you enjoyed this part though, but I, I hope you enjoy more when you click onto the second part. So you'll be working on this outfit, as I mentioned, and yeah, I hope you I hope to see you there.